what it do, y'all. You already know exactly what time it is. Back here to search some more game on the ground from Hunger House. And just get out the pound and I'm ready for the next round, man. With that being said, I hope everybody's having a good day today. My day has been alright. My day has been pretty good, pretty chill, pretty regular, average day in the regularly scheduled program. Uh, let me know how you guys' today has been, whether it's been a good day, bad day, an interesting day, an entertaining day, productive day. Whatever the case may be, we can talk about it, we cannot talk about it, it don't matter to me. Also, let me know where you guys are tapping in from so I can shout out your country, your city, your city. I always thought it was interesting where we can all be on different parts of the world and still tap into the same program at the same time. Technology is something that we're going to be talking about tonight. Shout out to Nala for the follow. Much love and appreciation. Welcome to the family. Uh, but technology is something that we're going to be talking about tonight. Yeah, technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Elon Musk. Mr. Elon Musk. I'm sure y'all have heard already. Uh, but we're going to get into it here in just a little bit. Uh, it's crazy, dude. The things that you can do with technology. The things you can do. And the things that you shouldn't do. The things that you could do for, for you know, benefit of, of society, the world. And the things that you shouldn't do that would cause destruction and chaos in the world. And that's one of the things we're going to be talking about is Mr. Elon Musk's Neuralink chip. Yeah. Uh, now, obviously, it's, it's been it's been in development for a while now, so that's nothing new. But just recently, he got it approved by the FDA for human testing. Yeah. He got it approved by the FDA for human testing. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I don't like this type of stuff at all. I don't like this one bit when I think of when I think of this type of stuff I think of uh, I don't know man I just it gives me bad vibes it gives me bad feelings because the things that could happen if you got a computer chip in the back of your head what's good uh, Yahia Yahia probably just butchered your name but when I think of Neuralink, I'm thinking of, you know, mind control and stuff like that. And obviously, that ain't going to be what it's what it's about. What's good, Mike? Appreciate you for tapping in. Uh, it ain't obviously what it's going to be all about, but that's what, what it could be used for. So when I think of the different possibilities of uh, Neuralink chips and what could happen with them, uh, my bad, y'all. If, if y'all hear that freaking background noise my neighbors over there being loud but uh he said that three hours of sleep yeah i'm sure it did but i'm sure it felt good too um but Neuralink chips bro they're not i don't think they're gonna benefit society i really don't uh and the reason why i say that is because when you sit around and you think about it see i see people talking about yeah I mean, i'm gonna run server farms on Spotify in my mind. I'm going to do this with my mind. I'm going to do that with my mind. What about the things that you can't control with your mind? Uh, yeah, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Boom. He said, uh, man, I don't, I don't know. I don't. That's crazy, though. Get out of here, fools. He said that he said I took like a two hour nap. I was going off for three hours. Oh no. About that man. Never mind. Never mind. I'm sure that didn't feel good. <laughs> I'm sure that didn't feel good. But I have been there before, man. I've been there before and it sucks. But you know, at the end of the day you learn that you just gotta push through it. But anyways, man, what about when people say they're going to do all these different things with their mind with this Neuralink chip? But what about the things that you can't do? What about the things that you can't control? I mean, all it takes is for somebody to hack the chip that's in your mind, start getting you to do a bunch of things, and guess what? Next thing you know, you're being controlled. You are uh, unwillingly doing things, and you probably won't even realize it. And the reason why you probably won't realize it is because it is, it's controlling your mind through the chip, which your brain has been trained to accept as another part of your, your body. It receives 
different signals and things from the chip as would your brain. What's good, Ferdinand? But, I mean, this is the type of stuff that y'all got to think about. I'm not saying that it's going to happen. I'm saying that it could happen, which is why I don't believe that we should have uh, brain implants, you know, with these chips and stuff like that. <clears throat> I don't think you should have any type of technological implant, period. <clears throat> but, you know, people are going to, oh, man, I want to explore the, the, the technology, man. I want to see what it can do. I mean, I mean, what if it backfires and the chip blows up inside your head and you, and, and now you're just gone? What if that happened? Who are you going to get mad at? Are you going to get mad at Elon Musk because it, it didn't work right? Or are you going to be mad at yourself because you, 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 your goofy self chose to get that brain implant? See, y'all don't be thinking about this type of stuff. Y'all only think about the positive things. Y'all don't think about the negative things and plan for contingencies. And that's why a lot of y'all get into situations that you don't want to be in, that you shouldn't be in, that you're not supposed to be in, that you don't need to be in. Y'all don't think uh, long term. You think short term. Oh, man, I could do all types of different things, man. I could go into the, I could do VR with my mind, man. I could play video games with my mind. I could go on the internet. I could look up the, the, corn, the corn industry on the internet. Man, I don't even got to pull out my phone. I can just go in my mind and I can view pictures. No. No. Y'all only look at the positive things that you can do. You don't look at the negative things and balance out the, balance the weight of each possibility and think which one would be more likely before you make an informed decision on what it is you're going to do. And that's not even with technology. That's with life. Y'all don't sit around and balance out the weight of each possibility which is something that you need to do because I guarantee you it will help to keep you out of a lot of situations that you don't want to be in, that you that you don't supposed to be in, that you don't need to be in. It's going to keep you out of a lot of trouble. But y'all just have to be the ones to want to stay out of that trouble. See, and, and, and it's cool that y'all want to explore technology. It's cool that you want to see how far down the rabbit hole you can go. But at some point, you just got to stop because somebody at some point is going to create something that is irreversible and it ends up being taken over by something whether it's a virus whether somebody hacks it or it goes rogue or gets inhabited by a spirit by an evil one something is going to happen to somebody's creation somewhere and next thing you know it's going to be a worldwide robot rampage, whatever you want to call it, AI rampage. I was going to say something else, but TikTok won't let me use that word. So, Y'all got to think about the, the, the long-term things as well as short-term. Y'all got to think about the consequences as well as the, as the rewards, as well as the... Uh, uh, what the word was but y'all gotta start thinking ahead start thinking ahead start thinking responsibly uh, and quit just jumping into the hole do some research think about it if you need to get a second opinion on it and with that being said that's what I think of this Neuralink shit I don't like it I don't like it so make sure y'all share with your friends, your families, your mommies, your aunties, your grannies, and everybody else that y'all know. That Neuralink chip is just the next step getting closer to the, the mark of the beast.